Hey there, so in this video I'm going to show you how um, you can work with colors in SCOREFLESH. Basically when you've um, imported the plugin, you'll find the prefab here in the plugins, Noriana Games SCOREFLESH. You can drag that into your scene, start playing, and you'll immediately see um, how Unity um well hot score flash starts um showing these little messages in the default configuration i'm gonna change the background color a little bit make it a little bit darker so that the colors become a little bit more um, intense and the default mode that you already can see right now um is called phase phases fate phases <laughs> Um, and this basically works here with these three phases, fade in phase, reading phase, fade out phase. And for each phase, you can um, define one specific color. Like right now, as you can see, when it comes in, it starts with green, but that goes very quickly. So I'm gonna make this a little bit more slow, slow so that you can actually see the effect a little bit more. So it starts with green and then it moves on to yellow. From yellow, it goes into that orange in the time of 2.5 seconds. And then eventually in three seconds, it goes to some sort of turquoise color. And one important thing to notice here is that there's um, these animation curves, color initial to read start. And with these, you can control how the color is um, lerped from the original color uh, or from the first color to the second color in that case from initial color to read start color as you can see now that i've um, changed this curve i'm going to make this a little bit more intense it stays green for a long time and then suddenly it switches over to yellow um, so basically with this you can control um, how the color changes and you can do that also for from color from start to end and that's in the reading phase that's from the start color to the end color and then also from read end so that's this color to the final color you can control that with uh, this one here and there's a couple of um, default um, well default ways of easing and uh, this is actually unity 3.4 3.5 is a few more to be honest, I haven't checked it in three point and uh, in four point oh yet. Um, so, anyways, that's the first uh, way to do that. And with each color, you can also define the um, the alpha channel. Um, so, for instance, what I'm doing right now is that I have the alpha channel in all four colors on one hundred percent. So that means they they don't fade out and fade in, and so you can really see how the the colors um, move from one color to the next. And that's, um, that was available right from the start when um, Scoreflash was first published 1.0. So what's new in 1.1 are these um, three more um, uh, possibilities, three more color selection modes. And I'm gonna show you sequence and random first and then go into the details of use color from skin a little bit later because that's um, especially interesting for scripting that's a little bit advanced. So I'm gonna first start with the easy things um, and that's sequence. Basically with sequence, what you get is a list of colors, which can have any number of entries. And then each message takes the next color from the list. So right now it's green, so the next one will be blue. And then it cycles through to yellow and then um, magenta, pink, and so on. And what you see now is that there's three faders, uh, actually four faders, sorry. Um, that define the alpha channel because I'm using the alpha channel from the colors, but since I only have one color, I can't really use that for fading in or fading out. So I have these extra color channels. So what's done here is that the alpha channel from the color is multiplied with the alpha channel here during this um, easing phase. So when I make this very low, what you'll see when we return to yellow is that it shines through. And actually, if I put that to zero or a very low value, what will happen 
is that when this um, when yellow comes the next time, it will barely be visible because um, yeah, there's almost no alpha. You can see it here, there it is, but almost not visible. So you have to be a little bit careful what you do with the alpha channel there. Um, yeah, that's basically it. You can define your own colors, each color, whatever you like um, in a sequence. Um, and still, um, and that applies also to the to the other um, two possibilities um, that I'm going to introduce later on. Oops, my microphone just went away. <laughs> um, still, the um, ease curves, the animation curves, are still used for this. But as you can see here, there's no more colors here because now these colors from up here are used. All right, so um, I think that should be clear. And yeah, you could start with this and then go down and go up. And this will immediately have an effect. As you can see here, now it disappears and then suddenly it reappears. Very easy to do that, these kinds of things. Uh, the next one, random, basically works the same way, um, only that now the um, colors are not used in the sequence, but randomly. And this pays attention that each color is used um, once before the next cycle starts. So we don't have any repetitions in the colors. And there's one exception. If I reduce that to size two, then I actually do use a random factor because otherwise I would just get alterating colors. So I would have the same effect as with, with uh, sequence. So you can see now I got two times the magenta, which uh, shouldn't happen when I use three and then change that color to let's say green then it should be either yellow, um, pink, green, or um, pink, green, yellow, or something like that. So it, it shouldn't be the same color two times. Now with uh, color from skin, um, you have to assign a skin here. And now what's being used is the color here from the skin. And what you can see there is that I um, <laughs> didn't really pay attention when creating those skins on the color. So the custom style here, score flash, that's the one that's um, being used um, per default, um, has a normal text color black. So that's not very helpful. So I'm going to change that to red. And you see now the change um, takes effect. So basically, you can use that um, to control the color with the skin. But that's not really that exciting. It really it actually reduces the possibilities. But well, for skinning, if, if you um, use different skins and, and select different skins, then yeah, you could use that. Uh, where this option becomes really interesting is when you um, do a special way of, um, uh, well, when, when you when you assign the, the skin um, via script. So what I'm showing you here is also in your package um, now with 1.1.1, uh, which isn't um, published yet, but that'll be soon because I've just added that for the screencast. And I'll share that with you. Um, here, that's a C-sharp example of C-sharp. And um, you see here, I got public uh, GUI skin and um, skin high density. Uh, that is for one thing, but um, yeah, actually I'm not gonna show that. What I'm gonna show is the list um, with the um, skin set. So here I can add multiple skins and I will comment in this return. So basically I'm just calling um, example random colors and fonts. And I'm gonna show you what this does. Um, first, it checks if there's, um, if the skin set is defined and if, if, if there's at least one entry. And then if that's the case, uh, actually I made a mistake here. Um, this needs to go down here below the button. So um, when the button funky stuff is clicked, um, it first selects a random skin. And in those skins, I'm gonna assign different um, um, fonts uh, for the score flash style, which is then assigned next. And then I'm assigning that um, a random color. Um, and finally, I'm pushing that with a message into the, uh, into the canvas. Need to save that real quick, and then I return to Unity. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to attach this script um, to some game object. Um, sample C sharp, and I'm going to attach this, and then I'm going to assign a couple of skins here. I have some in the examples folder. Gui skin. I have 
three and I got another one and another location. So I'm going to take four. I'm not worrying about the retina stuff right now. Um, if you know how to do that, it's really easy. And um, yeah, so I don't need to go into the details here. And the other one is the score flash skin. Okay, so I got four of these and I will switch off the testing the auto-generate messages and testing, because that's not really helpful what I want to show you here. And now, uh, I hope this will work. I got these four skins assigned, and now I should get random fonts here. As you can see, this is pretty awesome if you need that. And of course, you could also um, don't do that in a random way. That's really just, just for demonstration purposes. Um, so you could use that for different messages and different fonts um, if you want to do that. But everything that you can do with um, Guistal, you can do there. So um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, this is use color from skin and that's the last of the four new um, color selection modes. And I'm going to continue working on version two, um, which is going to be really awesome. And I'm looking forward to getting that into your hands. So hope you enjoyed that video. Feel free to ask any questions on the forum, um, on the Unity forum. The link is um, available um, below that video. And if you haven't done so yet, um, you should definitely buy Scoreflash and um, have fun with it. So see you soon. Bye.